People say, no, 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 pastor, wait, wait, wait. It's not enough to believe. You know, because faith without works is dead. So believing is not enough. Let me tell you something. When you believe, you will act. Can't help it. See? When you believe, believing always precedes acting. But you can only act on what you believe. That's why if what you believe is wrong, your action will also be wrong. So we need to make sure that the believing is right first. And then the action that will follow our right believing will also be right acting or right action. Okay? Now, what we need to do is to believe in the finished work of Christ that what He did was perfect and sufficient. Now, some of you might say, of course His work is perfect and sufficient. We may say that, but is that really what we believe? See? Now, the Bible says, let me just talk about the word believe. The Bible says, whoever believes. Okay? The word believe, believe here is pisteo. It's the verb form of pistis. Pistis means faith. So up here you have believe and faith. Really, whoever has faith. Whoever has faith. So the Bible says, that uh, for God so loved the world, okay, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever shall have faith in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay? So believe and faith are exactly the same. That word pisteo is literally faith. But here's, a, here's the thing. The Bible says, whoever, whoever. Now, who is whoever? Everyone. That means the gospel is for everyone. It's for the young, it's for the old, it's for the men, it's for the women, it's for the student, for the businessman, it's for the bum on the street, it's for the drunkard, it's for the religious, the irreligious, the a-religious, it's for, it's for the Satanist, it's for everyone. Everyone. But here's the thing. The Bible says, whoever believes. Everyone say, believe. Okay? What we need to do is to believe. The only time this uh, not perishing and having everlasting life kicks in is when you believe. But here's the thing. Believing is not just a mental acknowledgement. It's not just a mental assent. Okay? It's not just uh, an academic uh, thing where you say, Oh yeah, yeah, I know Jesus died on the cross for my sins. Okay? That's not the kind of believing that uh, uh, this... John 3.16 is talking about. What he's talking about, true believing always produces action. You can't help it. See? That's why Jesus calls us believers, not doers. Because if you're a believer, you will be a doer. But you see, you can do something without believing in it. Right? It's like when you go to work every day. You may do it even though you may not believe in your boss. Believe in the work that you're doing. And so it becomes tiresome. It becomes laborious. Why? Because your heart's not in it. But when you believe in what you're doing, work becomes a joy. See? I like what I do. I like going all over the world and preaching the gospel. It's, it's my joy. So I can say I believe in the gospel, but if my calling is to preach and teach the word, if I truly believe in what I'm teaching, I will be willing to go all over wherever it might be. See? So, right believing will always produce the right action. James said, faith without works is dead. So, faith, believing, see? Believing without works is dead. In other words, some people may say, oh yeah, yeah, I believe in that. But until you actually act on it, you don't believe it. See, you don't believe it. And that's why believing is such an important key in our Christianity. Remember this, everything in Christianity begins with a mind. Everything begins with a mind. This is where it all starts. But it can't end here. It has to go to your heart because it's, this is where we believe. As long as you're believing in your mind, it's just a mental assent. It's only a mental acknowledgement. That's not the kind of believing that saves you. But the believing that produces an action... That is what saves you. So, James said, uh, faith without works. See, the faith 
that is the believing that is simply up here, but you don't act on it, what he says is, your faith is dead. See, your faith is dead. So, you don't act to prove that you have faith. Because then the focus will be on the acting. I'm trying to show you I have faith by my actions. But what we need to do is focus on the believing. That's why we're called believers. We focus on the believing, and as long as what you're believing is right, I promise you, maybe not overnight, but eventually, your actions will follow that which you believe. Therefore, the more you believe the right thing, I'm, I'm assuming the right thing, okay? The more you believe, the more you'll act on it. If you don't believe, for example, that uh, when you lay hands on the sick, they will recover, you're not going to do it. What for? It's a waste of my time. They don't get healed when I lay hands on them anyway. See? How many of you here plan to walk to Hawaii? You know, pastor, I can do it. It's too far. All right. <laughs> See, we don't plan to walk to Hawaii. Or never mind, not Hawaii. Let's walk to Mindoro, which is just not too far. Okay? How many of you would walk from Batangas Pier up to Kalapan? See, just go ahead and walk. You know, say, ah, wag mo na ngayon, pastor, bagyo eh. See? We see, we're always looking for excuses. Then, still the storm. See, still the storm. See, the reason why we don't do it is because we don't believe we can do it. You will only do what you believe. Jesus walked on water because he believed he could. We swim because we believe we can swim. Yeah, the ones who believe they'll drown, they won't even step into the water. Because they believe they'll drown. And sometimes maybe that's better because then they can believe they can walk. You know, I can't swim. I'll just walk na lang. It's easier. <laughs> diba? But you are believing. Look at this. The believing sustains you. See, as long as Peter kept his eyes on Christ and he believed that he could do this, he was walking. He's believing sustained him. But the moment he looked at the waves and then the Bible says he got scared, his faith was overtaken by fear, he started to sink. See? Why? Because all of a sudden the water is softer? No, it's the same. What sustained him was his believing. So it's the same thing even with your health. You believe that you can't get sick? That belief will sustain your health. But the moment somebody tells you otherwise and you choose to believe them, your new belief will sustain whatever it is that you are believing. If you believe now, okay, I can, I can stay strong and healthy but except for H1N1. The moment it's H1N1, patay. You know? Then in everything, your faith is sustaining you but the moment it's H1N1, you just might end up dying. Why? Because your faith for that is different. Your believing is different. And you will always have what you believe because what you believe is in your heart and out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth speaks and you will have whatever you say, Mark eleven twenty three. That's why believing is where everything begins. Believing is what sustains you. I can use the word faith. It's the same thing. That's why Jesus wants to be the author and the finisher of your believing. He wants to be the one to tell you what to believe because that's going to be your life. The Bible says that your word is health to all my bones or health to my body. So the mo as long as we believe the right thing, don't worry about it. You're not going to get sick. You're not going to... Whatever it is you believe. See? Uh, even about wealth. The same thing. What do you believe? Out of, out of your heart flow the issues of life. So every issue you're facing now is a direct result of everything you believe. What do you believe? If you believe in the economic crisis, you will enter and, and experience that economic crisis. You mean to say, Pastor, I just have to stop believing in the economic crisis and I'm out of it? No! You need to replace it with right believing. It's not enough to say, I don't believe in the crisis, I don't believe in it. The... Then what do you believe? See? It's not a matter of what you don't believe, it's what you believe. Believing 
It's everything.